Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey through the annals of British royal history, where each jewel holds a tale as captivating as the next. Today we invite you to immerse yourself in the allure of Prince Albert's sapphire brooch, a gem shrouded in romance and legacy. In a momentous occasion on the Isle of Man, Queen Camilla, in representation of the King, graces the borough of Douglas with her presence marking a historic event in the legacy of the crown. But what truly captivates the eye is her choice of adornment, the legendary Prince Albert sapphire brooch, a symbol of enduring love and heritage within the monarchy. Transport yourself back to the romantic era of Queen Victoria as she receives this breathtaking gift from her beloved Albert, a magnificent sapphire encircled by a constellation of dazzling diamonds, forever etching itself into the pages of history. As dawn broke on their wedding day, Queen Victoria radiated in splendour, adorned in satin and lace, with her Turkish diamond necklace and earrings gleaming alongside the radiant sapphire brooch. From the christening of her grandson to the present day, this precious jewel has graced countless momentous occasions a testament to the enduring bonds of love and legacy within the royal family. So let's go back to the eve of Queen Victoria's wedding. On the 9th of February, 1840, Queen Victoria wrote in her journal, My precious Albert gave me a splendid and lovely brooch of an immense sapphire set round with diamonds. It is quite beautiful. The brooch set with a large sapphire in a cluster of 12 diamonds was originally a fermor, a clasp, which could also be worn as a brooch. The piece was originally purchased by Prince Albert's father from a jeweller in Amsterdam. It seems Prince Albert did not have the funds for such a gift at that time. The following morning was their wedding day. Queen Victoria wrote, I wore a white satin gown with a very deep flounce of honiton lace. Imitation of old. I wore my Turkish diamond necklace and earrings and my angel's beautiful sapphire brooch. This brooch was one of Queen Victoria's most cherished pieces, so much so that she had one made for each of her daughters. Next, it's time to dive into the captivating world of Queen Camilla's latest jewellery choice at the prestigious Commonwealth Day service held at Westminster Abbey 2024. Last year, Her Majesty stunned onlookers with Queen Mary's breathtaking sapphire and diamond brooch. But this year, she's outdone herself once again. Behold the magnificent heart-shaped aquamarine and diamond brooch, adorned with a dazzling heart-shaped pendant, a true masterpiece of elegance and refinement. But here's where it gets fascinating. While announced as part of Queen Elizabeth II's collection, historian Trond has uncovered its true origins. Trond granted access to Queen Alexandra's photographic jewel inventory has unveiled that this stunning brooch originally belonged to none other than Queen Alexandra herself. It's absolutely mesmerising to witness the resurrection of this new brooch, unseen for so long, a testament to the rich tapestry of history woven within the royal family's jewellery collection. So let's raise our glasses to Her Majesty and this captivating allure of royal fashion and jewellery. Stay tuned for more draw-dropping revelations from the world of royalty. Now, dear viewers, let's delve into the intrigue surrounding the captivating brooches adorning the Duchess of Gloucester at the Commonwealth Day Service 2024. While their origins remain shrouded in mystery, let's shed some light on these enigmatic gems. It all began in December at the heartwarming Together at Christmas event hosted by the Princess of Wales where the Duchess donned these striking brooches for the first time. They made a dazzling reappearance on New Year's Eve as the Duke and Duchess joined the King and Queen the church at Sandringham, adding an extra touch of elegance to the festivities. Now let's talk about these extraordinary pieces. Each brooch is intricately crafted in the shape of a turtle adorned with a large faceted stone at its centre. While it's challenging to pinpoint the exact nature of the stones, 
My speculation leans towards a mesmerising smoky chord, adding a touch of mystery to the ensemble. What truly piques our curiosity is the apparent novelty of these brooches. It seems they're a recent acquisition, making their debut at the Together at Christmas event. But here's where I turn to you, dear viewers. Do any of you recall glimpsing these exquisite treasures before the Together at Christmas event? Let's unravel this captivating mystery together. As the sun rises over Northern Ireland, we turn our gaze to Her Majesty the Queen, gracing the land with her presence and charm. It marks a series of engagements, celebrating the artisans and family producers of this vibrant region. In the spirit of this momentous occasion, the Queen adorns herself with a symbol of luck and heritage, the exquisite turquoise and diamond shamrock brooch. But what's the story behind this captivating piece? It traces its origins back to 1947, when it was bestowed upon Queen Elizabeth II as a wedding gift from the Dowager Duchess of Portland. While photographic evidence of Queen Elizabeth II wearing the brooch remains elusive, its journey continues through the annals of history. Enter Queen Camilla, who receives this cherished heirloom from Her Majesty after her marriage. Over the years, she has graced many occasions, especially visits to Ireland, with the radiant presence of the shamrock brooch. A symbol of continuity and connection, this brooch embodies the enduring bond between the royal family and the people of Ireland. Join us in celebrating the timeless elegance and profound significance of the shamrock brooch. Until next time, may the spirit of prosperity and goodwill continue to flourish across the Emerald Isle. Until next time, may the allure of royalty continue to dazzle and inspire us all.